Hi, I'm Jenny with Roots and Wings Furniture, and today I'm going to show you the ABCs of Dixie Belle paint. Are you ready? Let's go. Dixie Belle sent me this awesome box of paint, and I am so excited to give it a try for you today. We're just gonna do a little review of the paint that they sent. I want to compare different paint products for you because I know that sometimes it's hard to get one paint brand versus the other, or you may have something specific you're looking for. So we're gonna go over a couple of different paint brands, and today we're starting with Dixie Belle. Let's see what is in this box. It's full of goodies. First of all, they sent me a Dixie Belle brush. It's a synthetic brush and it is so nice and soft. I really like how it holds really nice in your hand. It's one of my pet peeves with the brushes with the long skinny handles. After a while of painting, it makes your hand ache. So I really like that. Let's see what else we've got. Okay. This is Dixie Belle chalk mineral paint. Here is fluff. There's some more colors in here. Let's see. We also got caviar. That looks like black. Red. This one is called Rustic Red. That one's really pretty. I like that color. Evergreen. We've got Christmas going on here. And, oh, I think this one is my favorite. This one is called Stormy Seas. That one is really pretty gray, maybe with a little bit of blue. I like that a lot. All right, some more goodies in the box. Clear coat. This is satin clear coat. Um, and it's white in the can, but I'm sure it's clear when it is applied. And this is gator hide. I've heard a lot about this. Protect your creations with nature's armor. Repels water, not gators. Good to know. Okay. Let's see what's in here. They also sent some, I believe this is wax that is stuck in this box here. The best dang wax in white. Awesome. I did a little bit of research on um, their wax before I started this video and all of their wax is water-based, which is interesting because it means that you can paint over it in case you um, did a piece, finished it with wax and then didn't like it. The wax is water-based so you can paint right over it instead of sanding it down or dissolving the wax like some brands. So that is really handy. And then some gilding wax. Look at that, sterling silver open and I bet ya oh that's really pretty this is for hardware little details on a piece different touches this is called Anastasia oh it's like pretty ruby red I like that so super fun products thank you so much Dixie Bell this is a great box uh, let's dig into the paint I'm gonna use uh, this stormy seas this is my favorite color so I'm gonna get started Okay, let's talk about the ABCs of their paint. So first we're gonna talk application. Uh, they sent a brush, so we're gonna try out their brush with the application of this. It's again, a, a synthetic brush, um, really nice and smooth bristles. So we're gonna give it a try. All right, before we get started, I'm just gonna read on the can what they recommend for surface prep. Um, this is clean your piece with white lightning following the instructions. Make sure your piece is dry. Using a damp brush, dip into your paint and start painting, easy peasy. Okay, we can do that. Um, they did send white lightning, I forgot to show you that. It is a powdered uh, substance, I think it's similar to TSP, but I've heard that it's better. You mix it into water, uh, wipe it off. It does need a rinsing step with just pure water um, and then you're ready to paint. So there's no sanding involved, but there is some cleaning, which I feel like we should do anyway. Let's spray this down with white lightning. I am just going to sample each of these paints on a cabinet door. It's a big enough surface with some texture that it'll give us a good feel for what we're working with here without having to paint a whole piece of furniture. And then let's put some water. All right, let's let that dry for just a second. 
Let's talk about the C's. So I'm looking for a few things specifically that we're just gonna discuss as we paint. Consistency is one, both the paint in the can, how thick it is, kind of the texture of it, as well as on the piece when we start applying it. What is the consistency? What does it look like when we're putting it on the piece? Also coverage. So how well is it sticking to the piece, the adhesion, which is sometimes tested a little bit later on, but you can kind of tell as soon as you put it on, is it actually sticking? As well as how many coats do you need so what is the coverage like what um how thick is the coverage or thin either way um and then the colors which we will talk about we saw a few of the colors coming out of this box but i'll show you the rest of them here in a minute let's get this open Whew, pretty pretty i love it so damp brush i'm just gonna spray my brush the piece is also, I mean, it's a little bit damp still since we just cleaned it, which I think will work in our favor. Let's check out this paint. Okay, so it is nice and thick, really smooth, but a nice thick paint. Let me tip this up so you can see. Okay, the coverage is actually really nice. It is covering with hardly any wood showing through. I don't know how well you can see that at all. Just in this one coat. And I, I feel like it's a, I don't know, it's a thicker paint, which makes it a thicker coat, but it's not like a crazy amount of paint where we're gonna get drips from it. Okay, the brush is fantastic. It's really helping to level the paint out really nice. I can see as this dries, it's not gonna have brush strokes. Um, we'll keep an eye on that as it dries. The consistency of it though, it is nice and thick paint, but it goes on really smooth. And the coverage is great because I'm really not seeing wood showing through at all. This is a great kind of a medium color to it. It may need a couple of little hits of paint after the first coat dries, but I'm not even really sure that it would, especially if you were giving it kind of a distressed look, you would probably be able to get away with just one coat of paint. So I really like this. And this is also, it's a gorgeous color. Again, this one is called Stormy Seas. It's a bluish grayish with a little bit of green in it. So really, really pretty color. I like that a lot. Okay, we are gonna let this sit and dry and um, then I'm gonna kinda test the feeling of it. I wanna see what it feels like when it's dry. And that way we'll be able to see how well it kind of stuck to the piece. There's no fish eyes, which is sometimes if a paint hits a piece that maybe had some oil on it or some grease, it can do that funny thing where there's little, almost polka dots all over. None of that is happening. It looks like it stuck really well. So we're just gonna let it dry, see how it feels when we are done um, and see how long it takes to dry. So I'm just gonna be back here in just a minute. All right, um, this definitely dry in less than an hour. It's a little bit chilly in the garage here today. So, um, you know, if it's a little colder, it's gonna take a little bit longer to dry. And if it's warmer, it's gonna dry much quicker. It dried really nice though. It is a super smooth finish. Um, it just flattens out and levels itself really well, which is something I'm certainly looking for in a paint. I love it, the self-leveling properties of it for sure. Um, I would say coverage wise, it also did fantastic. This is one coat that you saw me put on. There's a couple little spots where you maybe could touch up if you wanted a pure solid look, but overall one coat coverage was really nice for this color. And the color again is just gorgeous. I really like that. It is a really flat finish. So this is the chalky mineral paint. It's really flat. It says that it doesn't need a top coat unless you want one. I think that you may want one just for the smoothness properties of getting it a little shine or a little bit of 
smoothness over time. You wouldn't want oils in your hands to kind of soak into the, the paint. But overall, that is a fantastic paint. I really like that. Water-based, no VOCs. It's not smelly at all. It doesn't smell. It smells like chalk paint. Um, and so really nice. So let's look at their colors. They sent over a color card as well. Um, and check this out. There are 64 really pretty colors. They've got the gamut of it. This is what we use today, this Stormy Seas. So it's on the darker end of things. Um, the color card matches the color really nice, which is helpful. And um, I really like some fantastic colors here. So this is a great product. I really, really like it. I'm impressed. I will definitely use this again for sure. Durability wise, I think durability is one of the most important things in a paint. However, it's really hard to test in just a one coat coverage video like this where we're filming pretty quick. So for durability, um, I'm gonna have to find a different test that we can do over time. Maybe set this outside, maybe let my kids run around with a cabinet door. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do, but to test durability, it's gonna um, be, has to stand the test of time a little bit. However, even in just the drying of it, if you kind of scratch with your fingernail, it looks chalky but it's not scratching off, which is really impressive. This stuff does say it takes, um, I think two to three weeks to fully cure. So in two to three weeks, this is gonna be stuck on there good. So I really like this stuff. I'm impressed. All right, overall, I'm really impressed with this paint. I, again, it is something I will definitely be using again. So I hope you enjoyed my ABCs of paint. We got it here. It gets a thumbs up from me for sure. So. Thank you so much for joining me in this video and I'll see you next time. If you would like to check out Dixie Belle paints for yourself, check out the link in the description below where you can purchase everything you've seen in this video and so much more.